Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are given the following task. We want to prove that sine of x is always smaller or equal than x for all x which are bigger or equal than zero for the real numbers. And the proof how we would like to do it is not helping you for this task only, it will also help you for further tasks where you have inequalities of functions. So le firstly let's observe that if x equals 0, then sine of 0 equals 0, which is indeed smaller or equal than 0. So for x equals to 0, this inequality holds already, and 0 is the first real number from our interval. Secondly, let's observe that for the functions f1 of x, defined as sine of x, and f2 of x defined as x are both continuous and even differentiable. I mean, you all know how to determine the derivative of sine of x and of x. It's clear to you, yeah, right? But how does it help us? Now here comes the most important point, because now you can take the first derivative of f1 of x, which is cosine of x, and you can do the same for f2 of x, which is just 1, right? And here you can see that the first derivative of f1 is always smaller or equal than the first derivative of f2. Remember, the first derivative gives us statements about how functions, how fast functions are increasing. So now, the, because the first derivative of f1 is always smaller or equal than the first derivative of f2, this means that f2 is growing faster than f1 for all x where this inequality holds. And this inequality holds always. So this tells us that f2 is always increasing faster than f1. f2 is increasing faster than f1. But we have seen that for the first point of our interval, for x equals to 0, both are the same. And from here on, f2 is increasing faster than f1. And this tells us that for the remaining numbers from our interval here, x is bigger than sine of x. And this concludes our proof. As said before, this methodology not applies only for this inequality. You can also use it for other functions. So if you want to compare functions, you can try to take the derivative and see whether you can prove the inequality for those derivatives. And if yes, then maybe this will also already help you for the original functions. I hope this video was useful to you. I hope you learned something. If yes, please comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and until then, see you next time.